Uh, they got a lucid store down here. We have Lulu Melon. If you guys know, we actually got the shoot for a Lulu Melon, so that's kind of cool. They got an Oakley store too. A lot of different stores down here that I don't really see in Georgia. They also have these Maseratis, uh, brand new Maseratis spread out within the mall. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and just show y'all the lucid. Uh, as you can see, Zay's head is all up in this car right now. Um, <laughs> these wheels are kind of big too. How does the door? How does the door work? Oh, 384 miles to 300 to 425. That's shit on a Tesla. Can you actually go in and sit down though? No, this is crazy. Nah, you still gotta sit down, bro. You still gotta go ahead and sit down. We gotta take turns sitting. In. Ah, that ain't really got no space. I mean, it's deep, but. That's no space, bro. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. Yeah, it's only because it's deep. Like, we're trying to give the illusion that it has trunk space. But it doesn't. It. it has zero back space. I feel like that one is more. Like... You got the Lucid gear back here, too. Oh, look, the Lucid connected home charger, guys. This is going to be its own blog in itself. This is going to be visiting Lucid, right? They got the pure touring, grand touring. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know the base model is 480 horsepower. That's crazy. And 400, 410. That's crazy. And they're all. That's about as much as you get on a new Toyota, though. Bro, they're all all wheel drive. So I ain't gonna lie, they slick shit on Tesla, bro. That's what I'm saying, bro. Honestly, like when you. Like really compare Tesla to a bunch of other like EVs. EVs it's kind of boo boo. Yeah. But then again, guess what the price of this one is? Exactly. And that's probably why you wrote that shit too. Yeah. What's a lucid air battery? Yeah, so this is the touring. The touring one is the one in the middle. Yeah. Just sit in the seat, make sure you, like you gotta sit in the seat, bro. It's like a whole, it's like a whole effect, bro. I don't know. Yeah, I've, I've been there. Done that oh, you already sit in the, in, the, in the lucid? Yeah. Damn, that's my first time sitting in it. I know. That's crazy. I don't know which lucid air, pure touring, grand touring. I don't know what the difference is between this one, y'all. Yeah. All right, guys, this is the base model one. Um, all these on the front. Zay, how do you feel about the, uh, in person, the front length of the car, like, compared to the average car? Like, is it, you feel like it's small, medium, large, extra large, extra small? No, I mean, it's about the same. It's about the average. average okay, I don't know. I don't know why to me it just looks like a little longer the front like lengthwise from side to side and i guess i guess these size things like actually light up when you turn left and right yeah those are the turn signals the lucid symbol y'all right here there i guess their logo is just actually the word lucid it's kind of crazy do the doors always stay like this though no so once you close it, it oh it goes in and i guess that's the charging port this is the charging port right here this shit is clean. This one doesn't have the see-through roof, though. This is like the basic one. That's why this, That's why the other one is so crazy when you sit down in it. Yeah, no leather on this side. Here you go. Hopefully it doesn't cut off. No leather on that side. 
Oh, this is still crazy. Oh. That's still crazy. Yeah. I would prefer to have like a sunroof and stuff going. Yeah, me too, for sure. But I'm not gonna lie, it's just the POV in there. Like, let me see if I can give y'all the POV. The POV of the inside is crazy, y'all. Like, look at that POV. That's crazy, bro. I don't know. Maybe I'm fanboying out, but this is this is my first time because I, I only see them on the road. So like, I never even seen one park before. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So it's cool. Yeah. I'm glad we got to come in here. I still don't know what the uh, like prices are for this kind of car or whatever, but definitely gonna have to check that out, y'all. This is the end of the video. They have a lot of stats in here. Um, I think they only really had like two employees in here when we went in here, y'all. Um, they got QR codes you guys can scan. Um, the cars are here. Take a test drive is what it says. On the experience, it's called Experience the Best Touring. 384 to 425 miles EPA range. Grand Touring is 469 miles to 516 miles EPA estimated range. Um, as y'all can see right here on the window. And then they just have some stats about their unrivaled technology, which is basically just you know, trying to make you buy the car available, which is nothing wrong with it. Then they have, actually have the Lucid electric drive unit, and they actually have the batteries in the store, like the model of the batteries for y'all to see it, with the weight, the power, and the density and stuff like that. Um, as y'all can see right here, kind of like a little 360 view. And then I guess these are like the real life size models of these right here. So, you know what I'm saying? If you if you were ever wondering how it looked and how your batteries would look and what's the size of your batteries, you get to see all of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So I think they did that on purpose too. Um, just as far as like Tesla kind of being, I don't want to say secretive, but obviously they don't want um, people to see everything when it comes to Tesla, right? They kind of wanted to hide certain things and just give you add-ons and bonuses and boost. Um, but Lucid is really coming at them, man. Lucid is really coming at them strong. I think the only problem with Lucid is probably the price point for most people. But obviously, I feel like if you can buy a Tesla and you bought a Tesla before, then you won't have a problem buying Lucid. Yeah, what was the what was the um, what's the fucking prerequisites for that? No way. They don't take your credit score or nothing. Nah. In the parking lot. That's crazy. This park. Should we test drive it? Should we trust Robert Chats? I just feel like that's a I feel like that's a, a problem waiting to happen. Like and not on day one, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you're scared. I don't know, Chad. Yeah. Chad, we gonna end this. We're gonna end this. 